You look well different on finger mids, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You look well weird. I, know. I do. Yeah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTM Sports. We're at the home of smoking Josh Sanderland. <laughs> Josh, how are we doing, chap? Good, well, how are you? It's really good to have you in the house. So, for people who don't know anything about you, so the floor's yours. Yeah, my name's uh, Smoking Josh Sandler now. So, yeah, I'm, I'm doing really well. Um, 27. I'm uh, currently ranked 13th, I think, I believe. It gets yeah. fluctuating up and down a little bit at the moment. We'll just give you 13 at the moment. Just give me 13, yeah. Yes. Soon to be 10. Yes. Soon to be 10, definitely. So, the last fight you were in was the ultimate ultimate box of six yeah talk, to, talk us through it Sokolowski the fight that you were to get smashed yeah, in remember every once in a while going to get hammered and uh, uh, well that's it's their opinions I respect everybody's opinion but um, I, I believe I'd be him um, and I did so you know even though I lost against <sighs> Mark Bennett um, yeah. I think I, I believe I come out a winner the way I you know kept coming at him and yeah with the knockdowns and stuff like that so yeah it's I've earned more recognition off that last fight than I have been away and, and winning against people on the road. What does that say to you? Unbelievable. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's very strange. Okay. But what can you do? Well, you just roll with it. Just keep it? going, yeah. Keep yeah. going. So I was surprised to hear the news that yourself and Cash Alley. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know much about it until I got back. Um so I've got like four weeks now. Yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll be ready. Don't worry. It's a tasty fight, don't you think? Very. Yeah, yeah. He's a he's a good, he's a good fighter. Out of his teeth, he's easy. No, I hope he's hungry at night, like. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, do I might be hungry. Man. <laughs> you know, you never know. Do you? So, so yeah. Honestly, he's I've sparred him a couple of times. Nice fellow, like no malice there. So I'm just getting. So you can we could headline it bite night. Yeah. A bike, bike tweet? Yeah. Going out for a bike tweet? <laughs> going out for a bike tweet. <laughs> How do you see the fight going between yourself and Cash Alley Jokes aside? Um percent, yeah. Um I, I I do believe that. It's a tough fight. Every fight that I have is a tough fight and I class them all as a world champion. Um I, I never overlook anybody or like that. I've been training hard over of a Christmas New Year, I've, I've been away like so. Yeah, I've, I've, I feel really good at the moment. Really okay, good. Tell us some things about uh, about you that we don't already know about you, Josh. Well, yeah. uh, first of all, the smoking. Let's talk about the smoking. Yeah, well, just just you come up, didn't you? And you, you've seen me and, and the way I fight and my style and you know, it just it's just stuck really, isn't it? You know, smoking, it's right? Isn't Josh it? Sandlin. It is right. I like to come to fight. I like, I like it and. Uh, Smoke, smoke some people out. Not right? only that, he's, he's probably one of my favourite boxers of all time. Joe and Fraser. Oh, fantastic fight! Yeah, just unbelievable. What was it about Joe Fraser that you liked? Or you loved? just so, just the way he come across to himself. You know, a bit like me, you just come across it. What you see is what you got. Yeah. And uh, my God, he could fight. Couldn't he could fight. Jesus, he could fight. Um, How would he do today in the heavyweight division? Probably batter everybody, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? Yeah, friggin' hell. Oof. Oh, I'm watching Wilder versus uh, Wilder versus Fraser. Uh, Can you imagine Fury versus Fraser? He won't be able to win, would he? <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't hit him, could you? Move that much. So yeah, I think the struggle. You have uh, Daniel in the yeah. house. Yeah, good good friend of mine. Yeah, 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 very nice lad. Okay, so talk us a bit more about where you're from, the area you're from. Yeah, I'm, I'm from uh, I'm from Illingworth, like sort of area. But I grew up in King Cross, um, from Halifax. King's with, Cross. Yeah, King Cross. Up, um, We've got King's Cross in London, so yeah, uh, it's it's not as posh as that. No, not, no. Oh, okay, fair enough. Then. <laughs> We're nowhere near as posh as them. Okay, but yeah, it's it's all right. Um, my mum and dad's got up, and then we moved up. But I bought my house up here. I've got got a couple of properties and stuff yep. now. So yeah, I'm doing all right. And, we're living up in Limworth. So, yeah. So, oh, you're, you're a good family man as well, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I love it, yeah. But a family man. So, yeah. the missus is over there. Can we speak to yeah. missus? Yeah. Lenny. Lenny, come Lenny. here. Lenny, come here. Look, you're on camera. Look, Lenny. Look, look. Here, yeah, Lenny. Wave. Come here. Come and stand here. Wave into that camera. There, look. Wave. Wave. There, look. You're in there. Wave. Can I see you, look? Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, so they, they love it. And, uh, 
he's getting to an age now. He knows everything. He knows everything that I'm doing. So. Do you think? Do you think he'll go on to be a boxing elite later on? I hope not. No, no, because you know, this is just kill me. <laughs> but every <laughs> boxer doesn't like. Him. It's, but they said I'd never it. stop them from what they wanted to do. I'm not that sort of person. Yeah, you know. Um, but I, I hope they don't, because I don't think I'd like to see my son get punched. But, but I'd, rest, I'd, I'd hundred percent back him, and I'd help him, and I'd give him the knowledge I could, hundred percent, the best I could. So you tell me, like, when you leave your kids, and you, I, I hear so many fighters say, "Oh, I leave my kids and I go to training camp." Yeah, yeah. Talk to me about what that means for you specifically, smoking. Well, it's hard. It, it, it's hard. Even to get up in the morning, go training, then go to then go to work and stuff. And then by the time I come home, they're in bed, you know. So I don't have training camps as as much as other people that are in the top flight and stuff that are the fighting for world titles. Because obviously, I don't get I ain't got the sponsorship to do that, um, which hopefully we're pushing for. And absolutely, and, you know, um, if I can do this now, being part time, what I've done so. In yeah. my career, what can I do? The, See, the sky's the limit. You're I ranked 13 in the UK, yeah. right? And you're part time. Part time, yeah. I've so imagine been. what could happen. You like so what? What? What does that look like being a full time boxer for you? It just, I've it's, it's always been a dream of mine. Even when I played rugby, I always wanted to be full time. I was because I knew my dedication and stuff to the sport. I, I'd, I'd succeed. Yeah. You know, in anything I do, I'd give it 110 percent, regardless of what I do. So, yeah. it's just it's just getting that chance and that opportunity, and hopefully, I just keep doing what I'm doing. This is why I'm taking these risk fights. We talked about this earlier. Yeah. We're taking these massive fights. I mean, I I, I didn't have to take this fight. I could have just turned around and said, "Ooh, it's a bit of a risky fight." You know, let's step away from it. Let's go for someone easy. But why would I fight somebody easy? No, I want to work hard and I want to get the the reap the rewards. That, I deserve, I think I, I deserve, you know, and Monday, hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll come for us. So, being a boxer, what does it mean to you, Josh? Well, it's just, a, it's like a job, you know, it's just like another job. I, I, I love doing it, you know. I work for a company, yeah. and, I, and, I, and people people know this, you know, you work for companies and stuff, and, um, and I set up my own business, which were hard and stuff like that, and... Mm. I couldn't work for a company again. No? No. Why? Because it's just, I like my own stuff. And it's the same when I played rugby. Yeah. I can't, I can't have somebody inside of me that didn't pull in their weight when I could do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I believe that. So when you're in a boxing ring, there's only you in there. Accountability. There's nobody else. So so if I don't train hard and I don't do the best I can do, I'm going to lose that. So I've seen on your Instagram page... You're up in the morning running. Yeah, yeah. So talk to me about the, the typical day for Josh Sanders. Give me Monday morning. What if Monday I'll morning get up, Just get up early in the morning, get my run done before I go to work and get kids sorted out, get them, get them nursery, wherever they yeah. go, you know. And um, full day's work and then I'll just decide what I want to do. If I want to go to gym, I'll go to the gym or I'll, I might go for another run or a bit of, you know, a bit of groundwork upstairs in the bedroom and stuff like that. You know, just, just splits and bats and stuff, you know, eating right. My missus is fantastic. She looks after me. Obviously, I don't look like um, I'm in the best shape of my life, but believe me, when I fight, I'm I'm always ready to fight, you know. How important is it to have a woman in your life supporting you in the way that you are oh, talking? Yeah, she never, she never moans, never, you know, you get, you hear of it. I mean, I worked with a couple of lads before in my life and the missus scream and shout at me, even if they, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not that sort of person I'd let, I'd let Amber do what she wanted and, you know, to a reasonable point because I don't want to bash anybody up, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But obviously she, she lives a good life and, you know, eventually when you, later on in life, when I retire and stuff, the kids will be f they're well off, you know, they'll yeah. be well off and that's that's what I drive for. So after every fight, we hope that you get home safe with the wife and kids well, so that's, it. That, that, that's what it's all about. and it's same for other fighters you know yeah. there's massive respect for anywhere and I just you, just you just you know people talk rubbish and you know I'm not that sort of person listen it's you want you want punch away from a disaster you know and there's there's not only me there's kids there's kids involved you're not just hurting you're not just hurting one person I yeah. and their kids and stuff so but this is what we love to do and, and, and it's an entertaining sport for the people and the fans and you know, I, I love it. You know, that'd be my dream to be a sportsman and, you know, to be the 
to be the man. Let's go back to this Cash Alley fight. When it was put to you, oh, you're fighting Cash Alley. Yeah. What did you think? What's the first thing that went through your mind? Well, I just thought, all oh, right. Well, I didn't know much about it. I remember being on plane back home, so I just they had a look on Twitter or something like that. And next minute, there's a post to come up and some bloke had retweeted it. And I thought, and I looked at our lasses, they went, oh, it must be fighting. <laughs> Their own Chris and Chris went, oh, yeah, yeah, she says, we're working on fight, we're working on money and all that, carry on. And I just went, no worries. So, You'll fight anyone. I'll fight anyone. I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not bothered. As long as I, I get good enough time, four, four weeks, six weeks, yeah, I, I believe I can beat anybody out. But yeah, I, that's what I believe. So what, after this Cash Alley, should you be successful, what would be next for you? What would you like next, ideally for you? We, we need titles, I think, after this fight. I think, I've, I think I've worked hard enough to get, or a shot, you know, at least a shot or some, you know, area, some an area, English, you know, or some, you know English title movie? Yeah, maybe, yeah, I'd be happy. I'd be happy with that. Maybe have a couple, you know, anybody that wanted a big fight or out, you know, it's, it's good, isn't it? That, that's what people pay to see. They don't pay to see shit fights. No one wants to see shit fights. Do they? No, they don't. No, so so every fighter, well, most fighters I know, they want to fight at a football ground. They want to fight at a stadium. Yeah, yeah. So for yourself, do you have a football stadium that you'd like to fight at? Yeah, yeah, I would. I'd, I'd, I'd be John Smith Stadium in Huddersfield. The reason why is because what happened with the rugby and stuff like that. I'm not bitter over it, and and, and I'm not that sort of person. I'm not malice over it, and and the football and stuff. I just think it'd be nice for him to see how how I've turned the negatives into positives and be a success. Yes. And I think it'd be fantastic, you know. At a ground that you know well, Huddersfield. Well, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah so be... you're a big Huddersfield fan. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, it'd be brilliant, yeah. I love it, mate. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be good to see you get stuck in there. Yeah, of course it would, yeah. It'd be good. So uh, where's the fight going to be then for you and Cash Alley? Barnsley. Yeah. I don't know where in Barnsley at the moment. Um, I'm getting all tickets through and stuff like that. So if, if anybody wants any tickets... You know, I, I really appreciate you, you buying them and coming to watch me and supporting me. You know, I, I think it's fantastic. What are people going to see between yourself and Cash Alley from your side of things? What is what, what's what's smoking going to be doing? Smoking from first minute. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll save you tools if you want. <laughs> 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 no, I'll be, I'll be coming out. I, I, I'll be ready to fight. And that's it. I've got to break him down early. You know, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's, he's six foot five. He'll be pushing seven, eighteen, probably. I might come in heavy. I don't know. I don't know what he's. I'd seen him for a long time. He's he's got new management, new trainers. So you know, he'll be, he'll be ready to go. He's full time as well. So you know, it's it's tough. People don't realise, you know, that they get into this persona where it's an easy life, and it, it's not. It's hard. Yeah. That's why I like to keep myself on solid ground because. Money, money don't mean up to me at the moment. I, you know what I mean. I, I fight. I'm fighting for nothing. Money, money's it's just minimal. What goes through your mind during the week? You know, you come up to a big fight. What goes through your mind? Are you want these guys that turn in, like turn in the yeah, streets and me, all. No, I, ju I just keep myself. To, me, me, she thinks uh, she, she's seen like sides to me that you know I go a bit quiet and stuff from yeah. probably think you know think stuff and. I can get emotional sometimes, you know. I'll be honest, you know, not not like crying. So you're going to keep crying, but but I, no, not crying. But I mean, emotionally myself because I want to win that badge, you know, and uh, and and the hard work and dedication I've I, I put through through the long periods of time. People don't like. I went on holiday for five weeks. I trained every day. It's I, ne I never stop. Yeah. Because I want to. I want to become the best I can be. You know. Yep. Can I ask just one question of you very, very yeah. quickly? Um, sorry, I've got to turn the camera to you. Uh, if you uh, is, can, I, can I come around or if you can come closer yeah, when you're yeah. around? Sure, sure, yeah. Come and sit here. So, Amber. Yeah. You, you, uh, you've you been with Josh. I am. What is it that, what is it about, like, the boxing game for you? How are you able to balance family life, of course, him being a, Josh being a boxer? You've just got to get on with it. I don't treat it any different, really, because since I've got with him, that's all he's ever done. He's out early morning, home late night. Just got to support him the best I can. But you could be screaming and shouting, though. You could be, you could be re kicking off. No, no, I wouldn't do that. It's what he loves. I got with him. That's the sport he loves. I would never, ever 
say to him, I don't want you to do it if it was something I didn't agree with. I'd tell him, yeah. but I'd never stop him doing anything. But I've got too much heart for it. There's people who are good at the sport, but there's people who haven't got the heart that Josh has got. So talk to me about this name, Smoking. What do you think of the name Smoking? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah? Very good, yeah. It's a good name to come up with for him. Are you going to are you going to be calling him from around around the household smoking or smoking? Are you, you going to call him that around the household? Or you think you she's had a few drinks? She'll probably want, <laughs> want, want a real cig light. <laughs> so, do you go to see the fights or do you keep your distance? I've been to see one. Which one did you go to? See the Ultimate Boxer. How did you um, feel about that? Yeah, she didn't like it. No, it's not that I didn't like it. Um, it's just completely different to watching. It on TV of other people when it when it's them. Are you, are you, like I seen Josh coming out and I was like waving at him and he's just a completely different person. Don't even look the same person. No, can't be. It's like his eyes are black. He doesn't. Yeah. He's just completely different. I was shocked in that way. Very shocked. And, and emotionally, how do you feel when that's going all going on? Well, I cried solidly for about thirty minutes. <laughs> right. And then you just, just obviously... because it's just overwhelming, and I was just so proud of him and all the people that came to support him. Fabulous, fabulous. Um, one other thing, like now that he's got this fight with Cash Alley. Yeah. You've been to that, you've been to that fight now. Is it something you're going to come and see more often? Yeah, I have said I'll come and watch it. She's only going because me, her uncle keeps forcing her to go. <laughs> she be in silence. <laughs> um, so I, no, I, I will, I will go. Are you, are you one that's going to be banging on, like, Josh, come on, Josh, yeah. you can do it. Come on, you I, one remember, of those? I remember fighting Jay McFarlane in Scott, uh, Scotland. You yeah. watch like a YouTube video, and there's a woman screaming on that. She, she never I'm stopped. I'm probably more likely to be the one. She never <laughs> stopped. She, uh, she was screaming at the top of her voice. And someone just went, What's that woman screaming at? <laughs> <laughs> it was well, don't get one. me wrong, I'll cheer for him, but I'm not one to. Banging on him. No. no. no, no. no. Oh, will you ever get a shoe and throw it into the ring and stuff no. like that? There's yeah. been a mother that's thrown a shoe into the she's ring. Six foot one, so she'd probably have a scrap with someone anyway. If they want them. <laughs> well, that's good sparring for you. Yeah, good sparring, that's what I mean. So I don't have to go. I don't have to travel hard. To <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, is there anybody in the room? See people in the room still talking? Okay. Um, it's a final word. I'll leave it with the missus. Final word. What do you think? What do you think? Just that one day you'll be the world champion. Yeah. My champion, this, anyway. This, this is what we do. We just, you know, that's what I drive. I drive for people. So oh, you, you daft, you'll get hammered and all that. But that's, I believe I can do something. I do believe it. I do, honestly, I do believe it. So if I didn't believe it, I wouldn't be doing it. I'd walk away. Absolutely. Josh, Amber, thank you so much for welcoming me to your home. This has been BWTM Sports at Home with the Sandlands. Thanks for watching. Take care. But not the Sandlands yet. <laughs> no, not yet. We'll soon be. You will be. <laughs>